Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Whitney, this is Philip, and thanks to Ting for sponsoring today's episode. Yesterday, we were treated to a trailer for a sequel to Naughty Dog's fantastic game, The Last of Us, and there are already a whole mess of rumors and theories about what we could possibly be seeing in the sequel. First, let's get on the same page and just look at the trailer. We're treated to an angsty Ellie playing an acoustic guitar. Oh, walk. A lonely road. No, that is not what you, <laughs> nope. Then, we see a curiously pristine looking Joel who appears in Ellie's doorway and he asks, what are you doing, kiddo? Are you really gonna go through with this? <laughs> That's the audio from the video. That's the real audio. To which Ellie has a most badass reply, I'm gonna find and I'm gonna kill every last one of them. Tight. Let's get into what this trailer could mean for The Last of Us 2, shall we? Okay, first, let's get the most obvious theory out of the way. Joel's dead and Ellie's hallucinating. I can see how people believe this, given how clean he looks. He kind of looks like he hasn't really aged at all, whereas Ellie is like a ripe young woman. Ew. You can also no, say that <laughs> Joel is carrying a gun, which some people have hypothesized is the weapon he uses to kill himself. I definitely see how some people can find this believable, but we also need to remember that the buddy system is hugely important in this game, so if either one of them dies, that's gonna need to be addressed. Speaking of the possibility of one of them dying, another popular theory is that Ellie is the one who's dead. What? Naughty Dog already came out and said she's the playable character, so. Although, Naughty Dog has sort of a history of lying to fans to mislead mm. them. They insisted that Ellie wouldn't be a playable character in the first Last of Us game, and we saw how that turned out. Naughty Dog also lied to us when they created the first trailer. That whole scene where Ellie is pointing the gun at Joel, who looks ill, was created just to make people believe she'd have to execute him after he gets sick. So, really, anything is up in the air because Naughty Dog are dirty, dirty liars. Ooh, okay. Uh Another theory circulating is pretty out there, but you see how Ellie's holding that guitar and how we never get a glimpse at her entire full bod? Ew! I didn't say gross. ripe. I didn't mean that when I said ripe earlier. Okay, <laughs> anyway, the theory is that maybe that guitar is hiding a little baby bump, which is a little more out there when you remember that Ellie's gay. But with it being the apocalypse and all, an immune lady walking around could possibly find herself impregnated against her will. Ugh. This may be pretty cringy to think about, but there was that concept art that also hid Ellie's body behind a guitar and it had some sort of armed militia behind her. If a group that knew about Ellie's immunity wanted to see if she passed her immunity along to her children, maybe, they might have made that experiment happen against her will. Ooh. Now this is all pretty out there, but one big spark of where this is coming from is an easter egg over in Uncharted 4. There's a comic cover for The Last of Us American Daughters, and on the cover is a pregnant woman wielding a gun. Initially a lot of people thought, oh, that could be Ellie's dear old mom, but it could be Ellie herself. Despite being immune to the spores, she could just be wearing the gas mask because she don't know if her little fetus is also immune. So here's the thing, I think if the pregnancy thing ends up coming true, it would make a lot of sense. It's a big way to raise the stakes and not make it a regurgitation of the first game. I don't want to say that making a female character into a potential mom is the only way to add good character development, but when it's the freaking apocalypse, yeah, it's a little more interesting. Yeah, I'm never going to hate on adding a little more children and men drama to something. <laughs> Dang, that movie is so good. A reminder, these are just theories. We have no idea what the hell's gonna happen. There might not be any baby. It might just be Ellie alone walking this empty street. On the boulevard of broken dreams. This was a test and you failed it. Ah, I'm cool with that. And thanks again to Ting.com for sponsoring today's episode. Ting's a mobile phone service that helps people save a lot of money on their monthly cell phone bill. They're actually breaking the industry norm by lowering their mobile data rates across the board. You pay only for what you use with Ting and that now includes data for just 10 bucks per gigabyte. Visit sfnerd.ting.com, see how much you could be saving with Ting, and on top of that, you're gonna get 25 bucks toward your first device or Ting service. Also, it's fun to say, Ting. Ting, ting, ting. Ting, ling, 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 ling. See you on Twitter and Snapchat. And Snapchat and Twitter. Yeah. Uh, My uh, shadow's <laughs> the only one that walks <laughs> beside me. Before, I thought you were totally gay, but now it just turns out you're a chill dude. I am gay. But son, you don't know what love is, you're too young. He says, don't you love mommy? I'll hit him.